Round of 16, heat number four, just getting started. George Pitar, a wild card from Manly Beach, up on the Gold Coast these days to take advantage of the high performance centers in Australia. And also Liam O'Brien, a class act from that region. The Gold Coast, Burley Heads, you think Snapper Rocks around the corner, a lot of dreamy right hand point breaks and one of the coolest styles in the game. Little waves on the way here. Loving seeing these lines on the horizon. Taking this wave to start off the heat is Liam O'Brien. He's been in the nines at main break in his last event where he eliminated Kelly Slater. Throwing down a turn and slipping on Liam O'Brien incomplete. Let's see if the wild card will make him pay for that. Wow. Clean rail work from George Batar. Wow. Lights up the lip again. Big vertical passing O'Brien and looks like he's going to oh. throw everything at the finish. His only mistake on the fall. Oh, wow. But sometimes it's so hard to blame him for falling on that end section, one of the toughest sections in the world to finish on your feet with the brick showing up. And so smooth, but uh, just his first turn was so clean. And straight into his second one was also super clean and then pretty good snap for that section and I, I liked how he pushed it there well at least you can admit it <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you really call him the dictator yeah I was I was calling the di dictator for a little bit uh, <laughs> Peter. wow this guy's locked in right now here's George winding up snap to slide he will sink there but provides a second score to back up the nine point ride that he threw down earlier. I love it. Well, that, that's a cool insight to the energy. You guys always bring the fun factor as well. Back to George's wave here, Flick. Yeah, that first opening carve, like well, Crosby said it too, was looking really good, but he just fell victim to that end section again. Basically did that right on dry reef. But right here, I mean, this is looking so good. Like, he placed that carving maneuver so well, so... You couldn't have been any higher on the wave. It just it looked really beautiful through so much spray. We can go on and on, but it's really cool that Brits have this big presence here at most of the events these days on tour with waves on the way. Paddling into this one, Liam O'Brien looking to break the combination. Cool arc to start. Great transition, attacks the next section and stays on his feet. This is, this is the wave now. And take it through, Crosby. Yeah, this first car was really nice, super clean. And then straight into this one. Nothing crazy on the finish turn, but, but nice clean surfing. So I think it'll be a pretty decent score. Yeah, that was really nice. This form is just absolutely incredible. And then the read there for the combination, two different types of turns to get there. His turns look so fitting for every section. George is gonna try to put him back in one. Smooth off the bottom, Pitar lays into a beautiful wrapping turn, covering a lot of the open face. As we then go to the big car from George Flick. Yeah, this wave face just straight away is so smooth, but he just held that rail just that little bit longer on this carving maneuver. You can just see the wave face here. This is just, it's just not a drop of water out of place right now. It's that second wave of the set. You can see he just wow. held that rail for just that little bit longer through so much spray. I've here he goes again, the wild card, George Pitar from Manly Beach, laying down that classic forehand carve and then snaps the next section, lays oh, back no. into the finish. That's been giving him some <laughs> trouble. Even with his nine, he fell on the finish. You could just see he just looks in such good form. He's nailing these first two sections, has it on lock, but for the third time here, brings it through to the inside, and he's just not having a good time there. Just <laughs> You can see it. He's so frustrated. But these first two maneuvers, he's got them on lock. The timing's perfect. Maybe it's timing. There's just something that he's just not quite clicking on on this inside. Maybe went a little bit too hard there, but I, I did think that that single maneuver was going to come in higher than that 3.5, and it did. So 5.67 for the one turn, it, that's really positive. Yeah, <clears throat> that's another confidence booster right yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> six, seven. But his, his cars are very unique, you know? He's turning at, like, at the very top of the wave. Like, it's... I think we'll be coming down here for a call and for a look tomorrow morning, just in case there is anything on offer. It is supposed to be a little bit smaller, but Sunday is shaping up to be, a, in my opinion, a really good finals day. 
maybe the best day of the waiting period so far. Here comes George without priority, up and out. <laughs> well, that was classic. Oh. Yeah, I think we got Pitter gone. <laughs> Here comes George. Driving off the bottom. Wow. Oh, cool connection there. Wow. A combination of turns in a short space. That down carve he has is so heavy with points. You got a five, six, seven for one version of that. This one, a bit of a combo. We'll see if that's enough to improve his low score. Let's take another look, Flick. Oh, he has got this first turn on lock. Just so beautiful. And I like what you said before, Cross. He just gets so high in the lip. Like, I don't think you could actually place this turn any higher than what he does. Mm -hmm. Like, it, any higher, you're blowing out the fins. And it's just the the, the pace and the, and the timing to this is impeccable. I'm, you, you can't get the board any higher on a carving maneuver than that. Yeah. Like, it's incredible to watch. And just to do that without sliding out, it's very, like, so impressive. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of that comes from his his like upper body torque you know because he's he's such a long long tall kid you know so it's like i feel like when he massive one there for george oh what a statement what a statement and like what you said crosby just to know that you can get a nine in a world tour event it's just going to be such a confident booster for him i think this is like his third excellent score since bells because he had that eight at bells he had an eight in his last heat against cole and now a nine in this one it's just a testament to his surfing.